Hey there, it's Diane Banks, radio personality, voiceover talent in Chicago at voice123.com slash Diane Banks. Also on Twitter every day at Diane underscore Banks. So come on over and chat with me and the cute little bunny rabbit right there. <laughs> um, also, yeah, you know, hey, if you're hiring voiceover talent or radio talent, fabulous. Let's talk. Um, my links to get in touch are right there under the video as well. But today's topic is, I thought, a kind of a cool, interesting one. An artist pranks Best Buy shoppers with a fake, useless plastic black box. I think Best Buy found it pretty quickly, but I would love to see some video of shoppers looking at it. That would be awesome. I don't know if anybody has that. Put it on YouTube. Would love to see if anybody you know, took a nice long look at it or actually tried to purchase it or open it or went, what the heck is that? That would have been fun. But it does sound kind of like they found it pretty quickly. Anyway, in case you didn't hear about this, um, an artist named Plastic Jesus put this in a bunch of uh, LA Best Buy stores. I think there was like five of them. And there you see the plastic black box. I think there's a better close-up here. Here we go. $99.99. He did a really nice job, I think, of matching up Best Buy's displays. <laughs> Put right next to a GPS that they are selling. Um, but there you see useless. And, you know, unless you took a really close look, you might not know the difference. Um, let's see. Okay, so we go back over here. So there it is on one display. Here it is on another. This time it's by a tablet. And it, oh, it's a different shaped black box on this one as compared to the one prior. Both are quite lovely, aren't they? Obviously making a, a message about our um, consumerism. But actually, he uh, I'll tell you what he said with the box here in a second. Uh, let's see. I thought there was another picture. I guess not. Okay, so here's, here's a close-up of what he actually said in his fake ad at Best Buy product useless plastic box ninety nine ninety nine zero use another gadget you don't really need will not work once you get it home new model out in four weeks battery life is too short to be of use manufacturer's warranty there is no warranty with this piece of crap if you're dumb enough to buy it you deserve what you get um, and so I looked for Best Buy on, on Twitter to see what their Twitter account, if they had anything to say. They actually didn't do anything there, but I have to say, I think their response was actually pretty funny and pretty smart. They could have turned it into bad PR if they had made a big stink about it and said, oh, we're going to prosecute this guy or whatever. But instead, uh, this is what they said. A few of our stores were affected and the boxes were removed immediately. Okay, I guess that answers the question of if anybody had a chance to look at them, which is kind of a shame. Wish they would have left them. Anyway, it says, We're also flattered that Best Buy is so top of mind for Mr. Plastic Jesus and are happy that he presumably had the opportunity to witness our expert blue shirts and Geek Squad members in action during his visits. Hopefully he also had the chance to check out our fabulous back to school deals. So you, you have to admit, that's pretty funny and entertaining, regardless of what your thoughts are um, on our consumer spending and all of that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, this was funny too, before they took them down, uh, the Daily Mail has a picture here of a couple of Best Buy employees taking a picture of the box. I don't know if that was like an evidence thing or if they're amused by it or they're going to tweet it, but I thought that was pretty funny too. So after I looked for Best Buy uh, on Twitter to see if they had any kind of response, uh, I went to look for Plastic Jesus. And lo and behold, there's the artist. He has a, a Twitter account if you want to look at his account or follow him. Plastic Jesus Art. And actually, I think he has a lot of interesting stuff on here. He's actually a very talented artist, I would say. Um, but he didn't really make any comment about the box. I suppose just putting the empty black box in Best Buy was a big enough statement, right? Without saying anything else, he did retweet the number of times that he got uh, posts or, you know, uh, noticed by the media about it. And then just one more thing here I want to show you before we wrap up. Uh, another piece of his art, which has nothing to do with this story, but I thought it was 
uh, another interesting statement. Look at this. He made an eight foot mouse trap. And there you go. There's the cheese waiting for us consumers. A whole bunch of credit cards. <laughs> so there you go. Today's topic. Uh, a pretty cool one, I thought. Artist pranks Best Buy shoppers with fake useless plastic black box which like I said I wish it been on store uh, on display a little bit longer but anyway have a good one I will talk to you tomorrow it's Diane underscore banks over on Twitter have a great day